You are not alone. This is Avian Invasion. This is the time to open your ears and free your mind. This is the soundtrack of a better world. We are one. Welcome to the Progressive Birdhouse. We made it to 2022 somehow. I'm not entirely sure how, but we are in fact alive. Rumors that my liver died a terrible, tragic death on New Year's Eve are highly overrated. Oh, looks like our bit boss is about to go down. I stupidly spent the last 48 hours doing some all new lighting cues here in the studio, so. If you like what you see, thank you very much. It took a lot of effort. If something goes wrong, uh, I blame the shots of Corgi. You used to bring the smell of rain into my bed. You could be inside my head Maybe it's a once in a lifetime kind of thing To feel the kind of magic that your love brings
Starting the new year right with Above and Beyond and Zoe Johnston. That one's been out for a while, but I don't care. It's still good. And thank you so much to those of you that joined me for my four-hour extravaganza on New Year's Eve. That was a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, thank you very much, Alpha Wolfio, for resubscribing here as well. And of course, warned one in the chat room called for a shout out with those seeds of awesomeness. Saying along with Burb One, Warned One hopes that everyone had an amazing holidays and there will be, and that they will have an excellent new year. Well, I'm hoping the same. Uh oh. I see bird explosions happening. Let's see if I got this down to a single button press. I've been working hard on this. All aboard the hype train. Yes. All right. Okay. So there may be a few of you that joined us on New Year's Eve and have stuck around to see what happens. Well, whenever a hype train starts on this show, we get a shot queued up called the engine shot. And then, well, if we move it past level three, you get an original track. What are we going to start out with here, kids? First shot of the first month of the first show of the first... Well, it's not the first year. It's, it's been 2022 of them since, you know, the birth of Christ. I'll tell you what. I'll call the first shot. Oh, wow. All right. Well, Zero's already on top of it. Just to be fancy. A little gift from her. I normally like to stick to sake, not the hard stuff, but... It's just too good to pass up. This is a little gift from Zero Key Wolf here in the chat room, who I hope will uh, weather the coming storm well enough, you and your mate. A little corgi whiskey. I've never heard of this before, but it's just too perfect to pass up. So to all those of you who made it through 2020 and made it through 2020 the sequel here's hoping just like any valve game this is not a three-parter cheers to you my friends and i'll see you on the other side you got about three minutes left in this hype train and about two hours left in the show cheers my friends Absolutely just blew past level three. Um, oh yeah, finally as my screen catches up to all of the Corgi cheering and the gift subscriptions, it looks like we're halfway through level four as well. Good God, you guys are starting this year off strong. Oh my goodness. So in that case, this one is... An Avian Invasion Original. This is actually the first track I ever got signed to a record label. I haven't done this one in a while, so here you go. This is Jockey's Escape from yours truly.
Holy cow, you guys are coming so bloody close here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Guys just blew past level five. All right, what is that caboose shot going to be this time? Please pick a sake, not a whiskey. My liver can only handle so much. There was a time, there was a place, but there was fear inside. A witty line to save my face. The pirate shield of pride. To cross the line, takes a tiny step The will to spark, cause the bridge to burn My fear entwined with my regret I'll be a part of the safe return So here's to you, my friends, for being with me through thick and thin, through uh, snowy, rainy, sunny, and uh, I don't know, frogs and locusts. We're bound to get all of that in the coming year, aren't we? Thank you so much for kicking that hype train into high gear. Lots of you contributing this time around. Ink Blitz, Zero Key Wolf with the Army of Corgis. And a bunch of gift subscriptions too. Wildcard 9, uh, Origami Griffin on and off throughout the whole train, it looks like. Uh, Ciala as well, thank you. Alpha Wolfio tossing out five gift subs. My goodness, at Folk One resubscribed, as well as Wildcard and Alpha Wolfio. Man, all of you, if you missed it during the New Year's Eve show, most of the, the revenue that I get from Twitch week after week after week is you guys handing out gift subscriptions to each other. It's you guys being nice to one another. So here's to you and your generosity. Hold on to each other. My secret plan, we came to share another It's 
a wasted love that we all regret. You live your life just once. Sit down, forget about a thing called love. Don't forget. There's a thing. Wildcard9 is asking in the chat right now if the uh, New Year's Eve show was posted to Mixcloud or not. It has not been posted yet. Uh, I was a little incapacitated at the end of that show, to say the least. And kind of had to recover over the entire weekend and then the last two days while I've been rearranging some lights. So I haven't got a chance to actually post that one anywhere except YouTube yet because YouTube automatically hangs onto it. But don't worry, it'll happen soon. I promise you, along with live recordings from BLFC and a couple other conventions this year, I will, in fact, make it happen. In the meantime, how about some more progressive house?
That is correct. My Lion Sorrow is the newest member of the Chaos Crew. I didn't know he had it in him or he hated my liver that badly. (laughs) That New Year's Eve show, he basically bogarted all of the random shots that you can call up for 10,000 channel points, or seeds of awesomeness as we call them around here. And those channel points don't cost you anything. You just have to stick around, say hi to people. Stay in the chat. As a matter of fact, you can call up a single random shot every hour. It is entirely up to, oh boy, and he like, Helike Long? He like Long? He probably does like Long. Just call it up. What's it going to be? Your options are, as always, some Corgi Whiskey, Saunyaki, the salted licorice liqueur, Berry Saki, Blueberry Saki, American Standard Saki, or Horchata Saki. so much for the blueberry hibiscus another bottle destroyed by uh, i don't know your guys sense of collective sadism in any case thank you to uh, he like long Heli- tell me how to pronounce that one for calling out the random shot and thank you very much to zero key wolf for sending this glorious sake from colorado to my doorstep and into my beak cheers to you my friends
Uh, welcome to Andraconics. As I have spent the last 48 hours setting up some new lighting, you're going to spend probably several days setting up a new phone. Congratulations for actually getting it in something resembling on time. In any case, thank you to Folkwin as well for calling out some guitar. Let's keep it rolling, shall we? And also, happy International Bird Day, everyone. Feels good, doesn't it? Oh, 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 
say it's been a while. It just sort of feels like it. That little gap between New Year's and when you actually have to face the new year is always a tough one, isn't it? Smacking back into that, I don't know, somewhat routine, somewhat I'd like to change my routine. It's a little jarring sometimes. And it has been for me, that's for sure. Hopefully by the end of the week, I'll get it sorted out. And I remember saying that for 52 straight weeks last year. Yes, for those of you wondering in the chat room, no, I will not be heading to San Jose, it looks like. There's just too much risk. Omicron may not be as deadly, but it is spreading like wildfire, and I'm talking to several people that live in Colorado right now, so when I say wildfire, they know what I mean. And who, boy, is it a hard decision to make, because God knows I wanted to shake the ground. Knock, uh... <laughs> knock the Bay Area off the fault a little bit. But I know too many people who have been exposed, and I know, I know too many people personally who have tested positive. These are people who have been vaccinated. And somehow, this one's still working its way through the system.
glad to see there's a discussion of things like vaccinations happening in the chat room right now. If you haven't already, go get stabbed. It's free. And it improved my Wi-Fi reception. Sorry, my 5G reception. It's rather incredible. Or maybe it's just because I got a Pixel 6. Anyway. Just because we can't do San Jose doesn't mean we can't have fun together here in the Progressive Birdhouse. Thank you guys so very much. Especially for helping me figure out whether or not any of the uh, the new lighting cues are going to blow things up. Like, for example, I know that this, this little guy right here during the choruses seems to be just sort of off in his own little world, doing his own little thing. That's what I'm telling him.
Holy cow, how has it been an hour already? An entire hour has gone by. It's all right. We still, we still got another hour together. And I got nowhere else to be tonight, that's for sure. And Tungsten Carb in the chat has spent those seeds of awesomeness to say happy hump day. you celebrated anything during the holiday season or had to travel or just had to endure a bunch of zoom calls it's definitely been a trying month the end of the year always is don't worry now you can just have fun thank you so much for having that fun with me on a wednesday night
trick that Rane taught me. Andrew Bayer's Once Lydian with a little bit of uh, above and beyond sung over the top of it. Uh, first time I got to do that was in Reno, Nevada on stage while he was DJing. It was an awful lot of fun. And thank you to Rock Pup for requesting some singing. Don't be shy, folks. Feel free to spend those seeds of awesomeness so you can't build them up. <laughs> make me drink too much. <laughs> and yes, Chili Fuzzy Wolf, I am in fact playing that party truck on Cap Hill later this month. That's something you can socially distance. If it isn't socially distance, it means we've gotten into an accident. If you've got a decent looking costume and you want to join me in the back of it, get in touch with me. Head to avianinvasion.com slash contact. Let's talk.
Well, it looks like we're heading headlong into 138 territory this show. No, eh, why not? It's been a while. We got about 50 minutes left. Let's kick it up a notch. Avian Invasion. Get on these lights, and all I can see is that gimpy one that's sort of pointing off in a different direction during one of these cues. That's all right. I'm not going to jinx it. My goodness. Time for a little more vocal trance, shall we?
yes, we have the DJ sessions in the chat room right now. Some of you are asking about that truck that rolls around Cab Hill and makes a lot of noise. I've been in it a few times. It's a fantastic little piece of tech, isn't it? <laughs> God, it's a lot of fun. And I'll be back in it later this month, like I said. Let me know if you want to join me. I know. And a big thank you to Rock Pop for tossing in some more funds for a better color blaster. Maybe something that I can actually control every color on, not just give you four options. We're a little bit over halfway there.
answer to whether or not I can futz around with these lights uh, while in the middle of a, uh, a deep, deep dab is uh, no, no, I cannot. <laughs> Can't mess with the lights while drinking shots. I can't mess with the lights while actually DJing. I definitely can't mess with the lights while playing guitar. So if you want to keep me from messing around with these lights even more than I have been for the last two days now, well, I, yeah, it's kind of on you guys. Spend those seeds of awesomeness down at the bottom. You can keep me busy enough. ha. <laughs> Power fluctuation detected. Shutting down non-essential systems. Well, I suppose this could work. see if the other button works. All aboard the hype train. Oh, no, that one didn't work. All right, well, more things to work on, but this one does. All aboard the hype train. All right, I'm going to need this arm back to pour this shot. Ah, there we go. What's it going to be this time, folks? Call it out. We have, uh, we got whiskey. We have that salted black licorice liqueur. I have the berry sake, I have the American standard or toilet sake, and I have the horchata nigori. Let me know what your poison is and I'll make it my poison. I'm seeing a few different things. Voting more than once isn't going to get you anywhere, Zero. I know you're chanting it out loud right now. Takala is voting for just liquor. Thanks. It doesn't, it doesn't help narrow it down all that much. Uh, looks like we've got many people going for the horchata. All right, that'll work. Uh oh, I might be killing this bottle too. I'm starting to run out of sake, and I have you to blame. Oh, I can't just leave it like that. Give me a break. Nah. Well, that's two down at this point. And I have you all to thank for this. For starting that hype train, it looks like we are... Oh, looks like we just blew the hell out of level three, so I gotta queue up another original track. Probably after this next one. But here's to you, my friends. Thanks for starting this new year out right. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow, I have no idea what just happened, but everything just exploded. Cheers.
This train is moving almost as fast as the ones you threw at me damn near every sing- No, actually every hour on New Year's Eve. I couldn't believe, couldn't believe what was happening. Every single hour was like a 600% level 5 hype train. Which basically means I'm going to be able to buy a whole lot of new music in the coming weeks. So thank you guys very much for that. You will be the direct beneficiary of that. down long enough to find a new song to play and uh, you guys are already knocking on the door level five and there's still three freaking minutes left in this hype train holy cow oh my god For those of you that didn't tune in on December 31st of last year, I did have a few uh, a few milestones. We showed some videos of some of the crazy, crazy shit that happened throughout 2021. But including the New Year's Eve show, there were 100 scheduled episodes of either the Progressive Birdhouse, the Early Bird Breakfast, or Trance Invasion. 100 episodes. 239 hours of streaming on Twitch. Four whole days of new music that you guys bought. I'm guessing from all the bubbles on screen here, uh, we might have just broke the hell out of level five, but I'm going to finish this spiel first. More importantly, over $13,000 that you guys sent my way just from bits and gift subscriptions, mostly through the gift subscriptions. That's half, half of that was from you handing gifts to each other all year long, just like you're apparently doing right now, that we're at a 268%, well, you know what it is. Hype Train Level 5. Well then, maybe we should close this out with the Corgi again, shall we? My god. You guys are absolutely amazing, and there's still a minute left in this stinking thing. So here's to you. I'm getting ahead of myself. Gotta pour it first. That's all for that hype train. Thank you guys so very, very, very much. I can't believe. Holy cow. So it started with Rock Pup throwing in a thousand bits and then gifting five gift subscriptions, which by the way, if you're not on the Discord, connect your Twitch account to Discord because stuff happens in there. Thank you to Thomas Doby for tossing out five gift subscriptions. Howlwind 
And I have to say fuck you very much because I know you're also responsible for leaving the Malort here. But Howlwin for tossing out five gift subs as well. Natolu for a thousand bits. Bloody for tossing out five gift subscriptions as well. Faux nine, not to be outdone, tossed out six and then another three. You guys crammed this hype train right off a cliff. It exploded into a million pieces. And yet still, somehow, after all of this, and I have numbers to back this up now, my liver is not dead yet. Cheers to you, my friends, for starting this year out right. Can't wait till next week. And in all that chaos, we managed to make it past a level 3 hype train, obviously. We made it to, like, basically two level 3 hype trains, didn't we? And so, it's time for... An Avian Invasion Original. That is right. Here's one that's, well, it's definitely going to come out sometime this year. There's going to be a lot of tracks coming out in the very near future, in fact. Starting with one around Valentine's Day. Join me at avianinvasion.com slash join to know when these are going to be released. Or you can join me right now at avianinvasion.com slash club to join the officers club and get access to all of this stuff. In the meantime, here's Tremors.
chat room has gone from talking about shooting Malort to uh, how you would properly eat a Lexus. You know, like you do. Like with a fork and all that. Yes, Wildcard 9, it is all chemical plastic. There's nothing natural there. And it would still taste better than a single shot of Malort. That's right, Malort. If the floor of a taxi cab was available in liquid form. This is Avian Invasion. Malort doesn't like sell you the bottle and then charge you a monthly fee to take the cap off. sure what you all got for Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. I One of the things that was left under my tree well actually I got a couple of notable notable additions to the lineup. One of them is a, a proper webcam for the early bird breakfast. No more weird fisheye wide angle potato cam in the morning. 
If you caught the uh, the New Year's Eve breakfast show, you already saw that. I now have two cameras to use during breakfast. And hopefully I'll see you there Friday morning at 8 a.m. because it will be happening again this week. But something else I got was a turntable. The first one I have ever owned in my adult life. And at least the meat body here was assembled in 1979, and yet I have never owned a record player. Only problem is, now I need to get some goddamn records. Come away, feel the light on your face. Gone tomorrow, give your tears away. That's the name of this track by, well, 
Ayumi Hamasaki, but it's an above and beyond vocal mix. Mizar the Everlasting spent those seeds of awesomeness for a shout out saying it is impossible to master the katana unless this song is playing that's right this is the secret from centuries of samurai that I can't not look at this gimpy ass light up here why why what do you have against me why must you misbehave you know what Take your own journey. Shine your own direction. But do it when I'm off camera.
you were asking for an After Dark show. Well, that's easy enough to do. Just have to kill the lights. It's, it's not that interesting, is it? Excellent time to start making suggestions as to who we raid after this. That's right. It's been a couple hours. Thank you guys very, very much. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to give your seeds back to you, Origami, if it's a little it's a little too late for a dab. But it looks like Loveless Fur is who we're raiding next. And so brace yourselves. He like Lung. Once again, I still have no idea how to pronounce that. like long or helike long or however the hell you pronounce that has called it we're gonna raid loveless fur after this but thank you guys so much for joining me in this first progressive birdhouse of 2020 the two i'll see you friday morning bright and early for the early bird breakfast in wonderful clarity but until then here's the giant robot voice to say good night thank you for listening 
This show only exists because of dedicated patrons like these. If you want to hear more, the invasion needs you at avianinvasion.com slash Patreon. Look for Avian Invasion on Spotify, Mixcloud, YouTube, and everywhere dance music is sold, streamed, or enjoyed. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, Bird One reminds you that you are alive, you are beautiful, and you are not alone. Say hi to Loveless for me. I'll see you next time.